for Linda Pennant. Uh, let's go call I too want to offer my um, words of um, important words here today. We celebrate uh, that this event took place 100 years ago um, uh, in Morroch, the uh, 14th of December. As I said, uh, the first women were allowed to vote for the first time, and that was a, a huge milestone. It also was the year that um, which uh, the Countess Macleod was, uh, was elected and didn't take her seat in Westminster. She chose to wait and to become a revolutionary and get elected to the first stall, as I said here. And she was an inspiration character as well. And it's uh, the Liberty Howland mentioned about the Labour Party being founded in my town of Clonmelic. Yes, they were indeed, and quite a, a generous and hard-working party represented ordinary people. And it was a pity uh, some years ago on their 100th anniversary that they weren't allowed to have their, uh, by you know, quite quite violent protest, they weren't allowed to have uh, their, their commemoration in, in the town of Clonmel. No place for that kind of intimidation in democracy. We need to support all political parties. And it's the same now today as we celebrate this, and you know, with the the term, at the time, the extension of democracy and a constitution was a wonderful thing, and the freedoms that it brought, and the, and the, 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 the enablement of ourselves to be sovereign people. And now we look at Brexit and discussions in Europe, and what's happening at the moment as well, and how Europe, in many ways, probably the cause of, a lot of the causes of Brexit, uh, or the heavy hand of Europe and not allowing uh, you know, states and nations to self-determine and too much overreaching into, into what happens. And I think that's, 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 uh, that's a, um, rather, rather sad, because we should, we should be entitled as a sovereign country to make our own uh, laws and regulations within uh, a perfectly uh, justifiable reason. And also, um, at the situation we talk at the moment, we see the persecution going on in other countries persecution of women and children in the Middle East, and we don't have a debate about it in this Parliament. We had one debate here about four years ago, thanks to the Count Cole, had a topic and a number of TDs were allowed to raise it. But we turned blind eyes to it, and we are supposed to be a neutral country, and our neutrality has been a challenge on a daily basis as well. And above all, I would say to the Fine Gael Party here today, uh, and supported at the time by, by, by a Labour Party, abandoned and destroyed local democracy. Uh, it's too much centralisation of power, and that was a, a hugely retrograde which the Labour Party have accepted it was a mistake, and I, I, I commend Deputy Howland for that, and are trying to reintroduce legislation as, as a, a, a private member's bill to get them get him back. To removing the, the, the accountability and democracy from local people. Too much centralisation. And that's why we're failing uh, to build the houses, look after our homeless. There's too much bureaucracy and centralisation. The local town councils and the local um, authorities, and I salute all the former members of many of them, who did it for voluntary service, who did it for sense of community, who did it for you know, the enablement and betterment of their towns and, and areas. And it wasn't about money and everything else. So we have too much of the heavy hand, and we have too much of the you know, um, denying of democracy to people. As we celebrate this 100 years on, uh, you know, we have to look at ourselves and say, where are we going? What's happening? 10,000 people on the streets, uh, um, um, and nearly 4,000 of them children. A, successive, a half dozen successive housing ministers have failed utterly to deal with it. And the local authorities and delivering. But when they had the local authorities, the town councils and, 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 and border district councils, town mailbox, they had people who gave service, who were there, as I said, to help the people. And I'd also have to question, as some other deputies did, the whole situation now of the banking collapse and the, 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 the punitive carry on that's going on by the banks that we bailed out. Permanent TSP is the most recent one, selling off the, 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 the vulture funds. And the third force militia that were operating in Roscommon last week, uh, ex UVF, I'm told, from Northern Ireland. There's no place in our modern democracy for those people. We haven't gathered a corner which we must support and our army if necessary. We don't need a third force at the behest of these vulture funds that are destroying people's lives. And sick people, vulnerable people, families split up, people forced into all kinds of situations because of the greed of the bankers who we bailed out. And there's no place, as we celebrate our, our um, 100th anniversary here, that we should be allowing this to go on under our nose. And it's happening up and down the country. Farmers being evicted, threats of farmers being evicted, and ordinary household people House has been evicted. We, we, we're trying to solve a housing crisis. We're turning a blind eye to this mayhem and this treachery that's going on, that uh, evicting people from houses and family and family farms and using a third force militia, tugs. They're nothing short of tugs, and they would have been dealt with a lot differently back in these times. They have no place in our modern democracy. And we must stand up for our people. Ninat the Coral and support them. They are the people that make the sacrifices to put the, 
paid our taxes to, to, to the, the money that we're bailing out these so-called uh, banks and this is what the treatment they're getting and, uh, and the courts aren't giving them the protection either or indeed um, and the, the sheriff's situation the, the whole situation around the county sheriffs and the lucrative fees they get is a sad indictment as we talk here today 100 years later. Go on, Go on.